it's another day and i haven't seen you guys in quite some time as you guys know we got rid of the lambo and now we're rolling in the maybach that i sort of drive but not really you know if i need to go somewhere with family i always offer the maybach but pretty much the daily driver is the mustang as it was before i traded the lambo in no real updates i did get a couple of things for both cars which i'll show you guys uh probably somewhere in this vlog but yeah nothing else really going on in life but it did take a very long time for me to edit all the content that i had shot like i said i had months worth of content which needed editing which is why i sort of slowed down on recording there wasn't too much going on but you know i decided to stop recording povs and everything because i was like i can't keep up with all the editing but now that all that's done and you guys will see all that content in the preceding vlogs i thought why not pick up the camera and get back to work one thing that hasn't changed at all is the mustang continues to have issues but nobody's really taking care of it at this point so that's probably the main uh problem we're having but you know so i need to do a little better as well day has barely started and i was like why not plug this in hopefully the charger is fully charged it was when i put it in the car but it has been a while okay so it is on four <clears throat> i'm sure it'll go down pretty quickly just to even get the car started but yeah we're gonna leave that for now and come back to that let's see what we have in here so we have the mustang <clears throat> another update i guess is that We've been having issues with the C55. In recent days, we were moving around the cars a lot. We were having situations with the C55. My dad was driving it and it sort of stopped pretty much in traffic actually. Uh, so he needed to push it. It was like a whole thing. Went and got him. The car ended up being towed. It got fixed. A few days later, we picked it up. Something else was a little weird because I guess when they were fixing it, uh, they didn't address or they didn't put it back exactly the way it was so there was acceleration issues with it and in the meantime we had to move around all the cars so my dad could drive the mustang and then uh he switched back to the mercedes found out the mercedes was having acceleration issues we had to move all the cars back again and it was a long process but the mercedes he's had for the last i think two or three days and it's been treating him well so it looks like this mustang will continue to be in storage i've thought about actually buying it off of my parents but we'll see how things go because i have more cars than i could handle even though there's only three it is a bit of a hassle uh, as you guys know that's probably why that mustang doesn't get enough attention nor do i drive it but we'll see what happens obviously anything could happen you know as as you guys have seen the car collection has changed quite a bit, sort of randomly on a whim a lot of times. So anything is possible, to say the least. Here we are, literally six hours later. Or not even six, we're like freaking, it's like almost 7 p.m. now. I guess it's been like eight hours, maybe nine hours since I plugged it in at like around 8 a.m. And now it's like almost 7 p.m. But there's no lights over here, so I'm a little concerned. But let's see. Obviously, I don't even know if the jump starter has been charging the entire time. It might have already, so it wouldn't be charging, but. Okay, the Mustang is back, y'all. packages that i believe i mentioned and we're finally opening them i don't know when i recorded the last scene but it has been several days and whew, let's get right into it these are going to be the vinyls that go on the mustang the 2024 mustang i should say and it's going to go on the rear and yeah right above pretty much the rear tires so 
first look and I think they came out pretty badass. So the car has like literally no vinyl. So uh, if, if you look at the car in traffic or whatever, even if you like the car, there will be no way to find uh, the car's page. You won't find my YouTube channel or TikTok or Instagram pages or anything. There's like literally no references to where you could find the car. So we finally got this 71 race cars is my main page for automotive stuff. But I'm at this point, I'm using my personal page more for automotive content. But regardless, I decided to use the main car page. And as you guys may know, probably by the canvas up there, if you guys could see it, but probably I've seen it in previous videos. Uh, I love tigers. So I decided to throw in a little tiger. So we're going to be putting these on. I don't know if they'll be today, but it'll probably be very soon. Today, we're actually going to the A's game. Uh, my first baseball game ever, probably the first baseball game I've ever watched, even on TV. Um, so first game pretty much ever. Um, so I'll probably be recording here and there for you guys. So you, that's probably what you guys will see in the next scene, but we will be putting these stickers on very, very soon. And then these are mats for the Maybach or the Maybach as people have been uh, saying. Um, but regardless, I'll show you guys these in I guess a quick second so if I can get these open. Here they are. I don't know how much I like them in the photos. They looked a lot lighter and they're more peanut butter. Um, so I'm not sure how well it'll work. I might take a look just so I don't have to return it, but I don't I don't know how well it'll match with the interior because it is significantly darker than the off-white or the white in the interior of the Maybach. So we're just going to have to see if that works or not. I literally come out here to test the freaking vinyl that's going over here. And there's literally the biggest damn spider over here waiting for me and i saw it move but i'm not sure it's not really windy so i don't think the wind is what made it move i'm pretty sure it's still alive but yeah it's the uh, not uh not really budging see and that goes to show you that all those times where people said spiders are just as scared of humans we're literally lying to you just to let you guys know that Quite honestly, don't know where I want to put it because I feel like people usually put it there or they put it a little higher on this curve. But I'm also thinking it might be more visible if I put it right here instead. So when you pull up, you can actually see it. Um, but I'm not really sure because obviously if you have a car that's about the same level, I don't know if you'll be able to read this. You need a car that's a little higher um to see it sort of sitting on the shelf part of this panel so not really sure so we might have to do test runs i'm not going to put it on today as i said but i think it might be easier to read if it's over here So you guys are going to be seeing the background scenes for a few sponsorships for the rest of this vlog probably, but we are going to be washing both cars, maybe the 528 as well. And yeah, right now the other Mustang's dead, but we need to wash these cars to do the detailing video. 
and we need to get the mustang started it only lasted i think like a couple of days and then it's out again so we have that product for this car which should be pretty cool but i think it needs a little charge i don't think it's gonna take that long to jump but we'll see and yeah we're just jumping back and forth at this point between different sponsorships different videos and whatnot got the good old mustang over here pretty much running around so i'm not sure how well the vlog will come out but i did work on i think like two or three sponsorships this morning and right now we're recording three at the same time so pretty much running around trying to do all three and yeah a lot going on to say the least back to the detailing product and that vlog or that piece of the sponsorships we are about to wash the cars finally got the hose and everything getting everything else that i need and yeah we should be well on our way but i do have to wash three cars i'm only using like maybe one which would be the mybach in the actual uh, sponsorship but we'll see really freaking dirty as you can see Maybach or May Maybach whatever you want to call it has never been washed Mustang is the first time I'm washing it but my dad did wash it for the very first time a few weeks ago so this would be the second wash well we got the Mustang turned on so that's always good and we're going to be working on the sponsored product pretty soon. We still haven't finished the one for the BMW yet and we are sort of simultaneously working on the BMW one and the one for the Maybox. So yeah, trying to get it done. Look at the little kitty kitty. All right, got the product. Maybach is finally clean too, so. We got the CarPlay device put on. Pretty cool product, as you guys will see by the sponsored video that will go up before this. And yeah, we might address the wires later on, but I sort of don't mind it uh, hanging over here rather than running it literally around the dash all the way to the down uh, area over here by the footwell and then plugging it in over here. So I'm thinking about actually keeping it as is and maybe I'll drive the car more. Here we are, pretty nice day as you guys can see. Sort of humid-ish, but regardless, got the Mustang with us. Vinyl's looking pretty decent. The one on this side has an air bubble that I need to get rid of. This side looks perfect, but yeah. And we're moving on to the Maybach, or Maybach, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And we're also going to start the 04 to make sure it actually starts. Well, it unlocked, so that's always nice. Now on to these mats, which actually came fairly open, so I don't even need to worry about opening them. I think this is actually the first time the car has been parked inside the garage. I'm pretty sure you guys might actually remember a little better than me but i don't think so i think once we got it it was actually parked outside sat for the most part since i've barely driven it at all since i got it over a month ago and yeah we obviously just washed it and put in the garage and polished it also so we have that coating on it using the detail spray that you guys would have seen uh from sumo or suma so uh, pretty good it's definitely holding up and yeah it looks pretty good I'm done with that mission going to turn off the mustang soon enough and take myself back inside and that's going to wrap up pretty much today's car missions sitting 
in the back seat for the very first time you know i've had i haven't even been in this car that many times i've driven it obviously i think maybe only like two or three times um actually driven obviously we moved it around in the driveway maybe another couple of times but yeah haven't really spent that much time in here first time being in the back seat and i gotta say it is freaking ridiculously spacious i even fell into the seat like look at how much leg room there is on this side obviously we could put this down but you got all that leg room and bro when you get over here there's still more space to lean the seat back like there's so much space and like i'm literally in this corner over here and i don't know the car feels so ginormous today we are getting the plates exchanged we are going to be moving the lamborghini plates on the mustang mustang plates are going on the maybach and we barely just got the actual registration and the actual plates for the maybach so we are going to be uh, switching things around and yeah so need to go get the plates taken off the mustang already have the plates for the maybach and need to get a couple of registrations good old mustang i do need to get this repainted i wanted to put coyote emblems on the fender and take off the 5.0 but i'm not really sure and yeah i don't know we're gonna have to figure it out but looking kind of dirty but always looking clean secured the registration also the other extra plates which i forgot that i have so taking those with me now we're here with the Maybach. So yeah, let's get the plate out. Or not the plate, but the registration out of here. We do need to take this out. We might shoot a first ever. Well, I guess it wouldn't be the first ever, but we might shoot a POV vlog uh, since I've, I think I've only shot one, which was the car meet one, but we'll see uh, when we do that. When I was sitting in the Mustang, I low key thought, oh, maybe I should, uh, take the mustang out today shoot one of those uh, pov vlogs with it running errands and whatnot but i think i'm gonna hold off until next week because obviously we're switching the plates on the cars and whatnot and it might get overly complicated i'll have to take a screwdriver with me and all of that um so yeah so i, I think i'm just going to hold off but next week in the next vlog you'll probably uh, see a pov vlog out here again hopefully we don't get copyrighted but we do have the new plates for the gt and the maybach so let's get started Ten seconds later. done putting the mustang plates on now i just have to do the maybach ones so i guess we're gonna have to open this up because there's no way i could fit in this little corner blue skies pretty nice summer day i think summer started i'm not even sure but we're heading out with the mustang and we are going to be picking up my dad from the shop as you guys know the benz has been having issues it died in the middle of the road one day there's another day after that got fixed um my dad got it back and it was having acceleration issues and then that got looked at and he was told or that got fixed and then he went back again 
and then when he went back that time uh, when there was a check engine light then he basically got told that the car was actually fine so there was another issue or something over the weekend so he said he was going to basically take it back so this would be like the fourth time i guess it's getting looked at in the last couple of weeks and we're probably going to get rid of the c55 sooner than later at this point we dropped off the bands just got home and now it's time to move the cars so my dad could take his Mustang out. I offered my cars, but he prefers riding around in his own car. Got everything in place. And it's time to head inside. In today's adventures, we are going to pick up the C55. As you guys know, it's been having issues for several weeks now so I think this is the third or fourth time it's been dropped off at the shop so um, going to be picking that up my dad just pulled up I know he kept waving I don't know if he was waving at me or somebody else but regardless uh, we are going to be picking up the C55 hopefully it's fine but I'm not sure I think we might be getting rid of it very soon and that just told me apparently we're not picking it up even though 20 minutes ago we were so I guess I'm heading back inside today we are doing a food run after forever I just realized I forgot my mic that I was going to test out for the first time but it's all right I suppose and yeah we haven't done a food run in a super long time don't even remember the last time to be honest but we are bringing back pov vlogs and yeah excited to finally sort of be back on povs i haven't really been recording too much because i've been really busy with life and you know as i mentioned before i had endless hours of editing to do on vlogs that i had recorded a while back so finally got those out of the way and whatnot and yeah we've been sort of recording uh i think this vlog for a while now but yeah it's almost ready to go and yeah we'll just see where the day takes us directly behind me but he's in the other lane or she's in the other lane but in close proximity has been there for a while going down this street i'm glad i'm getting off the street there has been multiple opportunities where it could have easily changed lanes and got behind me but it didn't so i think i'm good but you never know exactly obviously they're you know they're probably watching there goes the police um obviously they're monitoring the road anyway so it's not like just because they're in that lane they're not they're not watching me or whatever but uh yeah where'd they go did they already are they right there i guess um, so yeah i think we're good we probably should be good i mean i could make a right turn right here but i'm feeling a little uncomfortable to say the least so I guess we'll just casually wait and go when it's green I also don't know if there's enough space I think there is enough space but I'm not a hundred percent sure
now. I feel like you always. I feel like you always get hurt. It's like I I had this shit before, bro. It's like like so like I was playing basketball mm -hmm. well, and yeah. like I thought it was just a jammed finger, but like it was like hanging over like this, bro. Uh -huh. Like and I couldn't even like like I had like no feeling in that shit. I was like what. The so, but I had it before though, and it's like, um, it just hits a tendon, then it's like the tendon that like, it's, it's able to like fucking support it. Uh -huh. So you just gotta keep it like straight for like, like six weeks. And then that shit would be like, back to the wall. Yeah, I guess back to the wall. Which is the point that like, if it, at any point, like it, if it even like goes unsupported, like it falls back and like, fuck it